Welcome to Tech Solutions Hub, your trusted source for assistive technology. Empowering accessibility, innovating for a better tomorrow. Explore our tutorials, product reviews, and expert insights. Learn how to harness assistive tech for independence. Connect with us. Subscribe for latest updates. Hit the notification bell. And join our community on social media. Breaking barriers, one solution at a time. The instrumental for this video is provided by Inner Sanctum Entertainment LTD. Surfing the net with screen reader. The ability for the blind to use the web browser with screen reader is quite possible. All you just need to do is to learn the keystrokes. And the keystrokes basically gives you the ability to move your cursor and navigate around the web browser. In this model, we would like to talk about what's internet, some terminologies using the internet, what's a web browser, website. Also, we would like to talk about how you can use your screen reader with different search engine, webmail, research it, place marker, custom label edits, and many more. Let's quickly have a brief introduction on what is an internet. Definition An internet could be defined as a global computer system that gives you the access to connect more than one computer to another from different locations at different time. Meaning, ability for me to connect my computer system with someone else who stays in the United States or United Kingdom at different location, different time, this is what we call basically internet. How does the internet function? Internet function as a result of what we call websites, ISP, IP, modem, and many more. Let's quickly talk about this. For you to have a good internet system, basically, we have the people who call ISP, Internet Service Providers, these are the people who provide the internet service for you as a user. How do they do this? They have the ability to do this by having a unique IP which you see on not on your system alone, even on your mobile gadget called IP address. Once this IP address is given, it is attached to your modem or the broadband and from this you can have ability to connect it to your system. So. ISP, Internet Service Provider, IP, Internet Protocol, also the modem, which was the code from two name, modulator, demodulator. In addition, once this is given, I would like to talk about the three to four types of modem we have depending on the school of thought you belong to, internal modem, external modem, wireless modem, and card modem. Also, if you have a modem and you're connected to the system, you connect your modem to your system, how do you now connect it as a visually impaired and also be it visually impaired or sighted, how do you get connected to the internet? First, on your computer system, you must have what we call web browsers. Web browsers are softwares or computer applications that are pre-installed or installed by the user. What I mean by the word pre-install is that some web browsers comes with the operating system of your computer system, such as Internet Explorer owned by Microsoft Corporation. We have the, call, the one called Safari by Apple, that's the Mac operating system. Also, we have other third-party users like Mozilla Firefox owned by Mozilla Foundation. We have Opera Mini and many more. Google Chrome as well is also a web browser that you see owned by Google. Once you have a good web browser on your system, then you cannot talk about how do you connect to the internet now, provided you have a good web browser, a modem. Then the next thing is ability for you to go to what we call the URL, Universal Resource Locator. 
Universal Resource Locator is a box on the web browser where you insert the web address in which you're trying to go to. So what is a website? A website can be defined as a collection of web pages that links together and could be accessed at different time from different location. That means a website has different web pages. How does a website function? A website function as a result of different programmers or web developers encoding from the web server. Note, the web servers are not owned by you or an individual. These are owned by gigs like the Bill Gates. And this is a computer. Let me use the word large computer where different web addresses are stored. That's a web server. Now, web developers develop websites. Developing this website, they have a unique ID, which is the web address and a domain .org, .com, .edu, and many more. Once this is done, then you will be able to have this particular website for which you will insert into the URL or the address bar. Also, the address could come in form of HTTP, that's number one, www number two, while sometimes you see the word HTTPS. www, popularly known as World Wide Web, HTTP means hypertext transfer protocol. Sometimes you see the word S in front of it, meaning hypertext transfer protocol secured. What that simply means is you having the word HTTPS gives you the ability to understand that that particular website is secured. Note, not 100% secured sometime, but at least that guarantee you. We shall talk about computer security in section 3. Now, once you have this, you cannot talk about the layout in a typical web browser. Note, I'll be using Internet Explorer to discuss how you can use the internet, how you can solve the net, browse the web in this model. So I will use a typical layout of an Internet Explorer to discuss what you have. In a typical Internet Explorer as a web browser, you have a title bar, which is on the topmost row. Also, you have what we call the menu bar. From the menu bar as well, in the menu bar we have different content, the file, the view, favorites, help, and many more in which I will discuss when it comes to the practical part of it. From there, you have what we call the address bar, in which you also known as the URL, Universal Resource Locator, where you put in your address of the website you want to go to. The go bar, which is a place for the sighted people, they use the mouse to click on it in order to log into the particular website they want to go to. The vertical toolbar, or sometimes we create it as a vertical bar, which gives them the ability to scroll up and down. Also, within the main content where you have the original content of the website you want to go to, in which we call the HTML page, meaning hypertext markup language. Hypertext markup language. The reason why we call this hypertext markup language is because within the normal field where you have the normal content, note, you cannot edit any text within this region except you are in an edit field or you want to copy what this simply means is this only the website developer who put the content on that particular website can edit the content on a particular website so as a user you cannot edit the only thing you can do is to type in within an edit field or you can only copy part of the text you see on that particular website also, we have what we call the status bar. This is a place where you have the uh, the percentage of what you are trying to download or upload. The meaning from the word download and upload basically is derived from the what we call FTP, file transfer protocol. And basically, the ability for you to share a file on the internet, either from your computer system to a website, or from the website to your computer system is known as download or upload. Also, you have what we call the 
vertical two bars i said which is the one you as a visually impaired you might not be able to scroll down using your navigational keys and as well you can do that perfectly using your page up or page down or the arrow keys so let's quickly talk about keystrokes for visually impaired using jaws how you can go to your title bar insert t for you to go to the menu bar you'll use what we we'll call the alt key or press f10 as well it helps you takes you to the menu bar but there are different content in the menu bar as well as i discussed previously for you to go to your address bar use f6 or alt d for delta also for you to know the status bar as well use what we call insert page down to determine the percentage of the page you are trying to download or upload on your internet explorer with this i guess we have just few things to talk about as brief introduction so as a user of internet you should be able to know the meaning of the word http html you should be able to know the meaning of the word url www and other terms that we will tend to discuss along during this model.